happy Saturday, Sagittarius. This is your general love reading for March 16th through the 22nd. It may not resonate for all of you as it is a general reading. However, it also may not resonate in this timeline if you come across it at a later date. Time is fluid and you were meant to find it. I am intuitive and so I will read from the cards what Spirit Guide is sharing with me. And if this does resonate with you, you can go to the extended reading at the end. Um, I will be calculating later today from last week and then posting for this week. So each week based on the number of views and the number of um, likes, I will be taking extendeds and making them free for the winners. So if you like this, make sure that you do like down below. Subscribe if you want to. Make sure that you are getting notifications. And then um, make sure that you share this with your friends if you want others to view it and help win for you. The extended will go into your person. But right now, I want to know what Sagittarius needs to know for the possibilities of love for March 2nd through, or March 16th through the 22nd. March 16th through the 22nd. It could be that this has been going on since the 2nd. This is something that has been on your mind. That's why that was popping into my head. I actually was uh, writing, doing some writing with my spirit guides earlier today. And um, I had like 10 pages of downloads. So they are very active today. What does Sagittarius need to know? Okay, so overall energy is King of Cups. So someone came into you with an offer of love recently, or you came up with this offer of love as the overall energy. Roles can be reversed. Um, past energy is a princess of pentacles. I feel like it wasn't something looked for or expected, but something that was like, wow, Look at this, it's new. Awesome, I will give it a try. Um, current energy is the full. So you're definitely ready for whatever this unknown is bringing you. It feels light, the sun is shining. Future energy is queen of swords. You or your person, there's the possibility, could be getting spooked by how intense this is, but we will clarify. Let's start with the King of Cups. Okay, so I feel like you were the one that came forward with the, with the love offering. And your person was feeling it, but they were only giving like half into it. Like with the five of cups, they weren't giving it their all. And I feel like, so the moon came forward and I feel like that you gave, <coughs> here comes an important message. I get asthma whenever an important message is coming through. You gave based on deception that you were being given. Like you thought that this person was coming towards you and they were not coming towards you. With the uh, Knight of Wands energy, I feel like this person wasn't showing who they were and they were just so fun and so light and so unexpected. 
So let's clarify this past energy of the Princess of Pentacles. So, yes, this uh, was a celebrated love with the Three of Cups, two people coming together, bringing similar thoughts together, bringing um, similar desires together. Um, judgment card actually tells me that you may have had an inkling at the beginning that this wasn't quite what you thought, but you left those judgments behind and went forward with it. And with the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like you felt like this was a really good start to a partnership, that it was going to develop really amazingly for you. Let's clarify this current energy with the Fool. Queen of Wands, High Priestess, and Six of Swords. So, this person made you feel like you were super special, amazing. Your higher self was telling you to stop being a fool start recognizing the signs but you were like six of swords i'm just gonna go with this i'm just gonna go with this let's clarify the queen of swords future energy Empress, Four of Wands, and Knight of Swords. So we have the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords. So I feel like you are preparing to put an end to this. Like you feel like with the Four of Wands, like this is not serving your foundation. And this Knight of Swords, I feel like, is like they're going to be nasty about it. Like they're feeling all of this internal pain. Like how could you reject me? And you're like, no, no, I am an Empress. I deserve far more than you are giving me. So let's clarify why they are in this Five of Cups energy towards you. Five of Swords, the Star, and Hierophant. So they wanted and they still want to give you a full commitment. They see you as being their star. And that is what all of this is about. Like that terrifies them. They believe that if they give everything over to you, that you will hurt them. Let's clarify Knight of Wands. Death, the sun, and strength. So if they would just be strong, if they would step into their strength, they would find themselves being a completely different person and the relationship would open up to this sun energy. So I want to go back and clarify judgment from the past. So yeah, so 
you were asking your angels and guides and you felt like this was something very new. And truthfully, what it's showing me is I feel like you saw, you saw the deception and you went for it anyway. I'm gonna pull in my other cards. I mean, you did, you saw what was coming through. But you went for it anyway. So let's clarify this Ace of Pentacles past energy. So you knew that this was going to be a balance of opposites in every way, shape, and form. So opposites of energy, opposites of the inner feelings that you were going to have. And you knew that it was needed for you to raise up to this next level. And you even knew going through it that you were going to have to do a lot of healing afterwards, but it was for your highest self. So let's clarify this high priestess. There's too many for me to take, but I'll show you the bottom seven of wands. So, you know, you have, you have choices. All of this is about choice. King of Cups, Six of Pentacles, and the Sun. Again, you saw the Sun. However, your person, they were in this relationship mostly in 5D. They were not bringing it into 3D. And with Six of Pentacles, you were giving to them and trying to figure out how to get that energy to return to you. Because you knew it was there for your taking. Let's clarify what moved you or will move you in this future energy into this empress. Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. So you frankly just got tired of it. It's almost the end of this cycle. You're tired of it. You're like, you know what? Nobody needs to go there. Like, I am done. I am, you're like, I am, like, I am a queen. I am, you know, all of that, queen or a king, you know, gender is not gender specific. Um, and you got tired of waiting for them to figure out what it was that they wanted. You're like, I'm tired of that. So why did this person get so nasty or why will they get so nasty i mean if this is coming when you take back your power be prepared for it because you're going to be like wow where did that come from playful this is all gone they feel like they were fun and they feel like they were bringing you love back in return because there's so much in their head, they are blind to the fact that they were doing all of this in 5D and not in 3D. To them, it feels real. 
it feels like they were giving you what you desired. So they don't understand where you're coming from. I'm going to pull some cards from the universe. The lovers, the hermit, and the high priestess. So yeah, it was a very passive, passionate relationship. And this ending has sent you reeling back inward to your higher self, trying to figure out, like, did you go wrong? What did you do? You are going completely into this higher self energy of, can I bring it back? Am I still in it? Do I go forward? How do I do this? Let's pull a Mindset Unicorn Affirmation card for you. <laughs> they are like, whatever. This person doesn't need affirmation. They affirm for themselves. But they do need some affirmation. All right. The cards, I feel like they're like, you're not going to listen. But we'll give you one anyway. Breathe. Today, breathe in slowly and deeply, holding on to gratitude for the refreshing energies that revitalize your soul. Feelings come and go like clouds in a windy sky. Conscious breathing is my anchor. So yeah, they're like, we feel you. You're in this space. Breathe through this pain and move forward because you have made a choice in your power to you know do this and so it's hard with this kind of a relationship to move forward but you can't move forward as long as you're anchoring in the past so remember that you can't move forward as long as you are anchoring in the past so I hope this helps. Um, I will clarify more about your person in the extended. If you are truly going to anchor into the past, then let's figure out what could come up to support this. So I will see you there. Bye Sagittarius.